Hey guys, how y'all doing? <clears throat> Thomas here. Um, I just saw the trailer for season three of Picard, and um, I'm going to uh, say that uh, because of copyright, uh, I can't play this song, but I want you to play the song as I'm doing this. Glory Days by Bruce Springsteen. So, <clears throat> the first season of Picard, um, I saw it, most of it, and I hated it. And from the beginning of Picard, Picard said he didn't want any of his old cast members, but because of, he's the star and I'm going, I'm going to be the person. And back when Enterprise, the next generation, it was a, it was, everybody was involved with that. So that was my big, my biggest beef. But the writing of the show was terrible. Um, the premise of the show was, was, was suspect. Season two, they had um, Q. And I'm not going to do any spoilers with this because I didn't see the show, but I've heard enough. Uh, and that season wasn't as good either. Um, they made some corrections and and um, that season didn't turn out and then um, I guess now we're going to go to glory days because they're bringing back the whole crew now because Picard said well <laughs> I, I've done everything I could I tried to, to, to make people come watch this show so I gotta at least throw in uh, the whole band so he's bringing the band back together <laughs> so um, there are some people in there. Um, they, they got um, Jordy's in there, and and um, they got everybody. You know, I think uh, even uh, uh, Worf is in here, and they got some. Uh, uh, is Wesley going to be in there? Probably so, because Wesley has been as begging and begging behind. He wants to be on everything too, so I guess they will have him there too. So. Um, but um, from what I saw, I mean, it looked mildly interesting, but um, the teaser is not what the whole show's going to be about. And I'm probably not going to watch the show. And I just wanted to, you know, just to say I wish them luck, you know. But uh, um, for me, Picard is has left the building or has shipped out because the, the writing is bad. Um, everything is bad with this, this show. Um, and enough people have talked, said stuff about this, but the, my biggest gripe is that as a, as a little Star Trek fan, and I've, you know, I've been to a number of um, conventions and bought a lot of merchandise and um, this new Star Trek crap, I'm going to call it straight as crap, isn't worth my time. Um, and I'm not watching Paramount Plus or whatever you want to call it uh, because it's 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 crappy, uh, you know. <clears throat> so you if you want to draw people into Star Trek, you should make it like it was before instead of having all this identity politics and all this sort of stuff. Just go back to a generic um, form of show where people can just go here and, 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 and let their problems disappear as opposed to thinking about what's going on around you right now because there's enough, there's enough trouble going on around you. So we want to escape from this, not to face it when we're watching the TV either. So entertainment is going to be what? Entertain, to entertain you from your worries. But... Uh, but obviously, J.J. Abrams and CBS All Access, or whatever you want to call it, they got on the agenda. So, you know, so as a Star Trek fan, um, old generation, new generation, um, all of the Star Treks um, before this new generation stuff, um, I, I would watch before I watch this, this craziness. So, um, so I wish you guys luck, but you're not. I'm not paying for it. I won't. Um, some people go to uh, other sites to watch it. I'm not because I ain't got the kind of money and I ain't got that type the type of time. 
from what I've seen is that this show is not worth my time. So if you got the time, go ahead and enjoy yourself, you know. Um, watch it, enjoy it, and, you know, post what you like, you know. But for me, uh, Star Trek Picard is going to be a no-go. Sorry, Picard. <laughs> I'm going to go to Ryza. <laughs> okay. Peace out.